it's been a while since the last time I made a video. Uh, believe it or not, it's just way too hot to be making YouTube videos. It's, you know, I just can't be indoors. I just need to be outside and to cool off. So there's going to be a lack of videos until somewhere around mid-September. But seeing it's a bit cooler around here, I guess it would not make a video. It wouldn't hurt to make a video on the Wooly Bumblebee. I was subscribed to the Wooly Bumblebee even before Sargon has ever made his video on her. And I don't really have an issue with the Wooly Bumblebee when it comes to feminism as she herself is an anti-feminist. However, I do take issues with her video that usually involves the MRAs. And now I'm responding to her video response to Sargon yet again. So, just a little side note, I'm not here because of Sargon, I'm making this video within my own free will, and that's all you need to know. Okay, so those of you who have been following the drums know that I put out a video that Sargon didn't particularly like, and neither did his little minions. Well, a video like yours is meant to be criticized. I mean, your entire video on Sargon Lakad was just mostly ad hominems. So they've been all over my Twitter feed and all over the video in the comments section, you know, just blathering on and not listening to the video at all. This is the most ironic thing you have said in your own video, considering that you don't even listen to Sargon at all, which will be shown later on in this video. Um, and Sargon decided to make a response video where he gets very exercised very easily. Well, considering that you're making such bold claims that Sargon is not being ethical, I wouldn't really blame him. Over things that I said. Now, I had started doing a response video to his response video, and I was about halfway through it. And then this happened. And I specify that in the video. With a man that is a fucking open hollow. Ah, oh, character assassination. I, you know, I don't care. I don't care if David Serini thinks the best thing to do first thing in the morning is to fuck children. Okay, I don't care if he is Sarah Butts at this point. Yeah, Sargon of Akkad does not care if David Serini fucks children in the morning. Oh boy. Here we go. There's a thing called context, something that you clearly lack. I guess I'll have to explain this for you, considering that you might not understand what's going on. Character assassination, the malicious and unjustified harming of a person's good reputation. Let's see what you're doing. You're saying things like how Davis Arini hates women in the past, and Sargon, given a non-biased review of the Sarkeesian effect, somehow led to basically Sargon acting unethical by reviewing the Sarkeesian effect, and somehow telling his fans to go donate money to the Sarkeesian effect. And one of the issues that you have with the movie is that Davis Arini is sexist towards women, and somehow Sargon is in support of them because Sargon has fans. Do you see what's going on? It's not Sargon's job to judge Davies as a person, but rather the project that Davies has shown. If the fans donate more money to Davies and Owen join, it's their own free will to do so, regardless of Davies past, because in this context, it doesn't matter. If the first thing Davies Arini does is fuck children in the ass, well, it's irrelevant. Completely irrelevant. Would I think of Davis less if he did fuck children in the ass? Yeah, I would. But it doesn't negate the criticism Arani gives in the movie, nor does it negate what he has to say about anything. You cannot just remove someone's points from the conversation at hand just because of certain things that you believe that person has done or has said deserves to rot in jail, or actually is rotting in jail in the first place. Okay. You don't care about associating with pedophiles, or speaking to pedophiles, or having pedophiles on your show. That's basically what you're saying here. No, he's basically saying that it doesn't matter if Davis is a pedophile because it is irrelevant. Again, ad hominem. Um, so yeah, I see, I have this thing called a line, and you don't cross that line. That line for me 
especially as a parent, has to do with children. And if you say, even if you're being emotional and angry or whatever, that you don't care if someone fucks children, you have fucking problems. If he said that he doesn't care if pedophiles walk around freely fucking children, then yeah, I would just, I would just say, Oh God, Saga, what the fuck is wrong with you? But again, I must remind you that he didn't say that. He is saying that because he was thinking of the worst act a human being can do. And one of them is pedophilia. And again, it is irrelevant to the topic at hand. Because no matter how angry I may ever get, no matter how upset, I may ever get, I would never, ever think of saying something so vile and disgusting. I'll just give you the benefit of the doubt and just believe you. I mean, I, I don't even know how that's in your head and how something that, like that could come out of a normal person's mouth. What well, I don't see you as a normal human being, so everything you say is automatically wrong. See what I'm doing? Sargon, you're, you're, you're fucked in the head. And you have children. How could, see, I just, I don't understand. Or maybe I do. Maybe, maybe I don't want to admit that I understand that you're a vile, disgusting piece of shit. And that's why Irini's, you know, Holocaust denialism and racism and all his other bullshit behavior just doesn't bother you. All you have done in your videos so far is you're making ad hominems. That's it. You're saying that because Sargon has fans, he is somehow in support of Sarkeesian effect, even though he has not dropped a single penny for them. And now you're saying it, is, it shouldn't be a shocker if Sargon doesn't really care if Davis is a Holocaust denier or a sexist or whatever, even though it is not Sargon's job to judge individuals. This is just a repeat of the exact same thing. You make an ad hominem against Arini, then claim another ad hominem against Sargon, and chances are, if you were going to make a video about me, you would do the exact same thing. You know, you don't have a line. You don't have any ethics. You don't have any principles. You don't have any morality. You have nothing. You there is a line you do not cross. Even if you're angry. And you know what? Even if you're angry and you say it, it's a video. Before you post it in public, you could watch it and go, you know what? Maybe that's not an appropriate thing to say. But no, you didn't do that either, did you? you Unless, of course, you're live streaming, then everything you say or do is going to be automatically uploaded on YouTube. You just vomited that up and threw it out there for everybody to fucking see. Well, now we know what kind of person you are. And you know what? If your little minions want to defend you on this, then I can just classify them as equally as disgusting as you are. So you're going to do the exact same thing of what feminists do all the time. Ignore, ignore any form of constructive criticism towards you and label it as hate speech, or in this case, in support of pedophilia. That's right, Bumblebee. You're becoming the very enemy that you hate so much. A feminist. Just to be clear, I am not in support of pedophilia, but chances are you're thinking that I am one because I'm voicing against you. And you know what? That is fine. I don't even expect you to watch half of my video. But if you are and you plan to make a video about me, then please, for the love of everything that is holy, don't make a freaking ad hominem towards me. Because, seriously, there is a line you do not cross. And that was it. I can accept Holocaust deniers and racists, you know what? I would have way less of a problem with those people than with fucking pedophiles. Y you scraped the bottom of the barrel. In fact, you went right through the bottom of the barrel. That, I, I, I just, I, I am flabbergasted that that even came out of your mouth. I can't believe that Sargon said that! Oh lordy, please help this child! This is just you acting shocked on what he said for eight minutes long! Quite unnecessary, if you ask me. And there's no excuse for it. There is no excuse on the face of this planet that you could give for that. So, um, 
I was going to put up my response video to your response video, Sargon. But you know what? It's too easy to deconstruct your bullshit. Whenever someone says they're not making a video because it's just way too easy, they really are saying it's they're just too lazy. We could all picture it if you actually did make a video on Sargon. It will still contain lots of ad hominems. Because that's all it is, is bullshit. And anyone with two fucking active brain cells to rub together can see you're full of shit. Anyone with half a brain cell can tell you're just insulting people at this point. No, really, this, there's no argument here. And I'm not going to waste my time on someone who doesn't have a problem with pedophiles. Who doesn't care if someone's a pedophile. So yeah, not going to waste my time on you. And if Gamergate is all about ethics and, you know, principles and all this moral shit. Now you're bringing Gamergate into this. Okay, now I will add the hashtag Gamergate on this video. You seem to be in such disbelief that Gamergate isn't about ethics and journalism. It's about destroying women as a whole or whatever. Do you even understand how ethics and journalism work? That they keep talking about? They might want to think twice about you. To come out and say something like that? Ugh, wow. I, I'm just like, if a feminist or an SJW had come out and said something like that, you'd be all over them. I'd like to see if that standard applies to you in regards to people who follow you. Why, yes, Sargon and many others would, because this is disgusting. But again, you fail to understand what contest an ad hominem is. Because they would support you in attacking a feminist or an SJW for saying something like that. Look, I won't deny there will be a few fans that are willing to listen to Sargon regardless of what he says. He could say the sky is purple and there will be someone who would agree with Sargon that the sky is purple. Hell, if Sargon was to watch and perhaps comment on one of my videos, some of his followers would come to my channel. Perhaps liking and subscribing to my channel, then never coming back to my channel because if Sargon's not in support of it then it would not matter to them. Yeah, I can see that, but people would call him out if he actually has no problem with pedophilia. Those people who would go after Sargon would be, but not limited to, Skeptor, Teal Deer, Dr. Renamacan, Veronica's good fellow, and myself. Let's see if they can draw a line and denounce something as disgusting as that. Because you know what? The Irini shit and the Sarkeesian effect doesn't matter. After what you just said, I think you've got bigger problems. Bigger problems? You exposed Sargon by him stating that he doesn't care that Irini is a pedophile because it's not relevant. Congrats, you make a great feminist. So yeah, um, I just, <laughs> wow. Have fun with that, Sargon. Wow. That's just disgusting. And I'm sure he will. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.